I've also added some of the panels to the, the, the transom. Yeah, I'm so used to seeing boats. Uh, I've got uh, the, some of the, the st <laughs> stern panels, <laughs> rear fender panels. So, okay, this is the motorcycle I'm working on. And, uh, and you can see there I've got the fuel tank setting in place. And I cleaned it off. I'm not going to. I'm going to. I'm not going to paint it. Uh, there's too many labels and stuff on here. Uh, I just cleaned it up really well, and uh, it kind of sets in that protector pan underneath. And I've got to uh, attach the uh, fitting on the bottom to the tank here. But now I need to go. Uh, I don't know if I need to replace the O-ring. It goes around here or not. Uh, I also have to see if there, there's supposed to be a little uh, filter in there. So let me see if I can get my clamps out and see if that'll come out. I need to flush out the old tank with some gas and uh, make sure it's clean and there's no crud in there from all these years of setting empty. Well, I did some investigation and I found I could pull out. I'm going to get a new O ring that fits around here. But then I. Um, I thought, well, that thing in the in the manual shows it is coming out, so I was able to gently stick my pliers in here and grab it and take it out. And it's all crusty with with dust, so I'm going to have to you know flush it out with gasoline. And yeah, you can even see it right there is like dust and rust and whatever settling on the lower end of the filter. Well, I guess that you now which way would have been on the upper so it must have been floating in the tank get back in range here okay let's get on and clean that but I'm definitely going to buy a new, new o-ring and get that tomorrow well I have the uh, tank flushed I flushed quite a bit of rusty crud out of it and uh, I attempted to take the uh, uh, level indicator out and I got it off mainly I wanted to clean around it and, and see how the gasket was underneath of it and I got it, everything apart, but I couldn't get the damn sending unit on it. There must be some sort of trick, and I didn't feel like it was worth my time um, messing with it. So I will uh, do a, probably an a in-tank test with a uh, hook a wire around it on the inside and do a resistance test. So, uh, But it's clean now, and I get, get that uh, O-ring for the uh, outlet, and we'll put that back together again. Well, I got a new O-ring here, replaced the old one, and it goes around the, uh, luckily I was able to find one over my local do-it center, and I got the uh, filter all cleaned off, and I flushed the tank out, and this thing goes around just like that. It's nice and thicker than the old compressed one, so I wanted to get that, that done. So that part's done. So let me flip this over and we'll stick it in place. It's really dark in there. You have to kind of start the uh, hoses and you have to have them out of, their, out of their clip right here. And then there's a strap in behind. I had to loosen that up. I don't know how many of the... It has a... a wear protectors on both of the cable or hoses but I don't know if that strap will go around them or not but if they're in there now and I was able to get a 7 8 wrench in here to tighten it up on that new o-ring so where we at here okay it's it's in now I can put the bolts in they kinda go in a couple little holes on either side and there's two in the front under there that go on the front of the frame so, so much for that. And right here you can see there's a little hook, and that's where the wires come down in here. It's a little hook on the uh, plastic part of the, uh, and that goes in there like that. And this stuff comes out, well, I'm assuming, and plugs in here. Doesn't seem like it's long enough. Well, I found that there's a, on the plastic tank protector, there's a little corner over here that's 
down a little bit, leaves a little gap in here, and that's, that's where the cable comes through. And so it'll plug in with these three that are left over here, and then I can slide this down, and I don't, I'm assuming that it all goes back in, it'll slide down and go inside there. So let me go ahead and make the connections for the, let's see what we got here, yellow and a blue and white tracer and a green ground. So connect that with the matching ones on this side and come back. I got uh, all of them except the ground. I just wanted to show you. I, I used my uh, little, I don't know what that like, forceps? To hold it, to get it into the, uh, and then I can use it to, <laughs> how it had been, to get in here and snap them into place. Okay, so now that's, let me get this all out of the way. I guess I should have put this down first. Glad I think this thing is malleable. Okay. We'll get all these guys back inside the housing here. Get back here. That all fits in there. Now I just got to figure out something to do with the seat latch to get to the fuel tank. I may just leave it like that, see what happens when I get the uh, uh, plastic on. So, fuel tank's on. I was wanting to blow all this out yesterday, but the, my compressor wasn't char or building, and so I had to tear the head down. And it's an old Thomas uh, wo wobble compressor. Instead of the piston going up and down, it just sits there and rocks like that and builds up pressure. It really works good. Uh, it's about 35, 40 years old. And they have a rebuilt kit for it, but I, I can take it apart and fix it. At all. There's an... Okay. Got the variator case back on. I forgot I... <laughs> I forgot to turn the camera on when I was doing it. Uh, I was having a real problem with the gasket right in here. It was wanting to jump off. And for some reason, it seemed like it was expanded. And so, uh, got it in. Trying to find the holes for these guys. So that's on there now. Put the uh, spark plug back in. Uh, torqued it down. Uh, now I'm going to... I might as well get the air box out. And uh, put that on and get everything all set together. Uh, this vent tube coming out of the gearbox uh, must fit on something up in here. So uh, I have the brake cable attached. I almost forgot to pull this thing back and stick it. There's a uh, welded boss on here. A little uh, like uh, C that the end goes in and it comes down. And it comes into this bracket I showed you before. And then it goes out to the, the end. I got the switch hooked up too. And it just goes and hooks around there. So, But now I have to oops, get back in here. Figure out where that, uh, that little round thing comes out. Uh, it's a lock that goes to a fitting on the dash. And I'll have to come back to that in a little bit. Oh. Well, I guess it's time to put on the air box. It goes up in here. And, uh, but there's a little hose. I kept wondering what the hell this hose went to. And then there's a fitting right here that it goes, it uh, probably sucks the, uh, well, it's probably a vacuum tube of some sort. But I see I got some more dust in here. Let me get that cleaned off before I stick it back in. Well, I have the hose connected and the little clamp on there, so now I gotta push it back, slide this into the, the air chamber fitting here. Well, I have the air box back in place. Uh, this has got to come off uh, to make a. Uh, I got a, something I think I can make a, a filter out of for the variator. Uh, and then I've got to order the air filter for that, but another conundrum is this bolt here 
uh, I had it taped in place when I took it off, but something goes in behind, and I have no idea what the heck it is. Maybe I'll find something rummaging through the boxes, but I got most of the cables all tucked away and into their proper spots. I had to redo some stuff down here. I, this I had um, tied with some string to this lower air case part here because uh, I knew it went around in here somewhere and then it had a little bolt hole that went back in here to hold the case front part of the case in and that was the only size bolt it would fit so I'm assuming that uh, these I don't know what goes through here uh, but there, the uh, ground cable from uh, the motor engine went through that one and then there was a little spot back in, in here that I ran the uh, uh, see what was it been the uh, uh, kickstand switch back up get it out of the way uh, and then there was a round spot and there, there's a hose that came in out of the carburetor a big long thing and I still haven't you know I kind of stuck it in there but I don't back into where we at here back into here it runs up back up to the carburetor on the other side but uh, I have absolutely no idea what the hell it does because it's not the drain because I've found uh, something else on that if you remember I had this little orange hose going around I had it stuck in the back of the frame I knew it went back here for some reason but I couldn't understand why and then I went back looking through the uh, I don't know if I can get in here or not there under the carburetor, there's a uh, drain hole back underneath here. I don't know if you can see it in there or not. And I have a, uh, you can come down here. Oh, oh well. You can't see it. Yeah, well, there it is right there. That's a drain screw for the carburetor. And then there's that pink hose fits on a little stub coming out the side. There you can see it right now. So I'll leave it. If it's not there, I'm going to leave it on when I put some gas in in case uh, I want to drain the... It was, there was nothing in it when I opened up the screw, so there's no uh, residual gas in the bowl.